Hello viewers, here is a ThinkPad T-Series laptop computer. This is the Lovano T61. I have an R61 and I'm really not sure what the difference is because they look identical. I don't have them side by side but from what I recall of the other one it's pretty much the same. This is the more common of the two. The R series is kind of a oddity. Nobody seems to really know what the purpose of it was. Uh, considering there doesn't seem to be much of a difference, I don't really know either. But anyways, this is a great computer. Very good quality. Very reliable. Very well made. You can't get really good computers like this anymore. This one has a Windows 7 Home Premium for refurbished computers COA on there and the shipment would have been with Windows Vista so it'll run Windows 7 just fine. I suspect that was the original Vista tag which they decided to take off for some reason. So I need to change the drive in here and we'll upgrade the memory. The drive is over here. I'm not sure what kind of memory it takes. We'll find out momentarily. Let's get the drive compartment open. I suspect it's a SATA drive. Well, that screw has to come out eventually anyways because the keyboard uh, has to come out. Er, well, I guess the keyboard doesn't have to come out. I gotta see how it works. Okay, so we have a, we do have a SATA drive here. And this is a Western Digitin Scorpio. It's a 5400 RPM. And it's from 2008. And it's an 80 gigabytes. So we're going to replace this with an SSD. going to use a light off drive because I don't think that there's really anything wrong with these despite there being some commentary about them. I've been using them for a while and I have yet to encounter any difficulties. I'm sure there are better performing drives out there but for a machine like this the processor is what's going to have trouble keeping up not the drive. The drive is going to work just fine. Okay, and these don't fit quite right on here anymore because the this drive is a little bit thinner than the other one is. These are not quite standard sized two and a halfs. They're a little bit thicker. But it'll fit. It'll work fine. The only thing that's kind of flaky is getting it to plug in sometimes, but that time it, it plugged in with no problem. Okay, so I'll put this back.
Okay, and now uh, we need to take the the palm rest off because the memory module is under the mouse track. So we need to remove uh, this screw and this screw. And this screw, and this one which we already removed. Now we should be able to get the palm rest off now. I don't know why they didn't put the memory modules accessible on the bottom on these. It's really kind of stupid that they didn't. Well, this isn't terrible, I don't particularly like it either. Sometimes it can be a bit finicky, like what we're experiencing now. It's already maxed out. It's got two gigabytes in there, and that's going to be uh, DDR1 or 2. And I don't have any sticks of that which are larger than that, so this already has as much memory as I can put into it. So we'll just put the screws back, and then uh, that'll complete the hardware upgrades. And then I have to clean it. There's some sticky residue on there, so we'll try to get that off. And then we'll uh, check the BIOS to make sure that it's recognizing the memory in the drive. that is but there's all like sticky something sticky on there we'll try to get it off with goo gone looks to me like sticker residue there might have been some kind of a sticker over there for who knows what reason Just don't want to do anything too harsh that takes off the informations as well. Looks like this is not taking off the informations. Oh man, there's a lot of it on there, whatever that is. Huh. That's strange. It's really, really thick. I don't think I can scrape this off without damaging the information. So let's see. Oh, I can. Golly, what in the world is that? Hey, how much of it there is on there? That's ridiculous. It's 
So you never know. Never know what you're gonna find on a computer. Both inside it in the hard drive and on the case. You just never know. This isn't the worst thing I've seen on a computer, but it is pretty gross. still there. It's not super sticky anymore but you can really feel that there's something on there still. I don't know what in the world that was. I may have to have to um, huh. It's so bad. It's coming off, but there's like so much of it, it's it's not even like lifting off, it's just moving around. Oops. That's not bad. No, I think it's just the goo go that's on there. I think that that takes care of our sticky mess here. Yep, that feels fine now. Okay, so that's clean on the bottom. Now let's take a look on the inside. screen needs to be clean so we'll clean the screen off Okay, that's pretty good. And even the keyboard is generally quite clean. There's not much cleaning to do here.
Okay. That's pretty much good. Alright, now let me grab a power cord. We'll power it on and make sure everything's working. Should be no OS on there, I think. Yeah, it's not looking like it. So we'll go into the BIOS. Okay, so we have two gigabytes of memory and see what our drive is looking like it's not telling me what the There it is, light on 256. All right, so we're good here. Um, let's just return it back to the default configuration. And do an F10 to save an exit. Oh, let's check the battery. Um, I don't know if the battery is working. It's not gonna tell me, is it? I don't like this version of the BIOS. Okay, um, nothing to save there. Um, or down here, we'll just turn it off. Alright, so last thing I want to do is we're clean, gonna clean out the CPU radiator. Battery does work, I just saw that flash for a second. I'm not surprised these batteries lasting forever on these things. We'll clean out the CPU radiator and then we'll be ready to install Windows. No, this isn't really working. Okay, take two. Much better. Okay, this is ready to be set up.